Welcome back, savages, to another video. Well, 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 who would have thought it? Just a few months ago, the aware element was shunned by Planet Watch and was basically being used as a doorstop or was gathering dust. Well, just a few videos ago, I was telling you how you could resurrect the aware element and use it on the PiFi network. So now there's another project out which can use the aware element at the same time as the Pi 5 without interfering with it so you can almost multi-project mine with the same sensor and this one's called Element Data. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set that up and it's really straightforward and you'll be able to earn IAQ tokens which stands for Indoor Air Quality Tokens on a daily basis. So let's go. So here's what you need to do. So we're going to be doing this on a Windows based operating system. So let's go. First thing you need to do is go to this website, elementdata.xyz backslash download. When you go to downloads, pick the download which goes with your OS. There's three versions, there's a Windows, Linux and Mac version. We're going to go with Windows, so you just download that. So I've already downloaded it, but it'll complain probably about it not being a safe download. You can click on the three eclipses and do keep and then just go ahead and install it. So once you've got it installed, it'll appear like this. Let me just minimize that so you can actually see it. So what you need to do is click on the configuration button. And then once you've done that, it asks you for the aware access token. And the way you get that is go back to the website, click on options and configuration. And then you need to click this link up here and that'll take you to the aware website. When it comes up with this, just click start building. So when you get to this screen, enter the email address and the password for when you originally registered your aware device and that's on the get aware website. So once you've logged in, it'll come up with the access token screen. You just need to copy to the clipboard, this access token, go back to the app. And then paste it into there. Click save. And then it comes up with the aware element name right in there. So make a note of that. And then do save. Click on OK. And there we go. So that's now connected to our aware element device. And it's getting all the information and the readings from it as well. So you're good to go. So at this point, you can set a password and save it again for this, which is what I would recommend. Click on save and then it should come up registration successful. Click on OK. And it'll just come up with a message saying element data. It's logged in. So that's good. Next up, go back into the element data website on the config page. On your phone, you'll have the aware app installed already. Go into that and what you need to do is just go into all devices on here and go to my home and then basically you just need to click on find new location and then just save it. That's just something you need to do and it just gives you the instructions here on how to do that as well. Once you've done that you should be good to go but as you can see it looks like it's all configured and working on here to start with. So that's all you need to do as far as sending the data back to the project and it working. So how do you get paid? You're probably wondering. Okay, so let's go back to the Element Data website. Go to Rewards. So by default, we're going to be on this plan because we haven't set anything up. And this is just going to give you 0.05 IAQ tokens for each data sent and data sent hourly. Now you can upgrade to the starter pack which gives you 0.15 IAQ tokens, but that comes with a fee of 50 USDC. Or you can go for the premium pack, which is 0.5 IAQ tokens, but you have to provide some liquidity on Tinyman. But I'm not going to go into that. So the next thing you need to do is to set up your wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You go into options on their page and you go to account. 
log in with the aware name, which was the aware dash element and then the number. You might have to press the refresh button for it to come up. And as you can see, it's kind of come up, but obviously there's no wallet address in there just yet. So you've got two options. You can use a MyAlgo wallet or you can use a Para wallet. In my experience, I've set up a couple of these now. Um, the Para wallet doesn't seem to work very well and connect up when you click in this button for whatever reason. So my preference is to go with a MyAlgo wallet, which just seems to work. So what you need to do is to see if it'll work automatically, just click on that. And then enter a password in here. So what you can do is set up a new account, but I've already got an Algo account, so I'm just going to do import phrase into that. And then basically you can give it a name, for the account and then enter the seed words here to retrieve your account. So I've imported my wallet and everything. I'm just going to enter the um, password to get into it. So I've connected my wallet and imported it so it should be all fine. I then select my wallet and do connect. And there you go. It's now entered my wallet address in there and I'm good to go. So again, by default at the moment, we're on the default plan, but if you want to be purchasing the starter plan, which is 50 USDC, then you can click on this button here. So before you purchase the starter plan, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, you're going to need 50 USDC in your wallet. So what you're going to need to do in your Algo wallet is create an asset called USDC and add into it 50 USDC coins so that you can purchase this starter plan. So I've already done that. So let's go ahead and purchase this starter plan. So when you click on purchase starter plan, sometimes you're gonna get this message, you don't have enough tokens in your wallet. Click OK, right. If that doesn't work, there's an alternative way to do it, which involves sending it manually um, through your Algo wallet. And I'll show you how to do that. So what you need first of all is that address. You go into your Algorand wallet and then click on send transaction change the top asset to USDC and then we're going to be sending 50 USDC in there in the address we're going to paste in that address and just to confirm you've got it right it should say element data dot algo in the bottom there you must click advanced transaction in here and where it says hello world you need to enter the username of your sensor in there paste it into there 50 USDC there's going to be a fee of 0.001 Algorand, which is fine. It's taking it from that wallet. That's the address we're going to send it to. When they've received it, they'll know this is the name of the actual aware element that we now want to enroll onto the starter plan. Click on continue. And that's it. The transaction's gone. So somebody on the other end in element data will pick that transaction up. Hopefully when you come back to this device a bit later on, you probably need to shut it down and restart it. Where it says plan there, it should say starter. And you should be earning more tokens as well. So this balance will update every hour and then they will pay out daily. And when it gets sent, it'll be sent as an asset called IAQ to your Algo wallet. One other thing you're going to need to do is to add a token called indoor air quality to your wallet. And the way you can do that is go to your wallet, do add asset, do a look up for IAQ, which is this one here, and then just go ahead and add that to your wallet. So when the tokens get sent out, they'll be going into this particular asset right here in your wallet. So it's been a couple of hours since I sent over the uh, payment for the starter, and I've just refreshed the screen. And as you can see where it says active plan, it actually now says starter. If we click on the app, that also says plan starter as well. So we're good to go and we should be earning 0.5. 15 IAQ tokens. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to set this up. All is not lost with your aware element. It can still be used for other projects such as PiFi. And then now we've got this one as well, element data. So it's all good for that unit. So get it connected back up, follow this tutorial and get yourself up and running again. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise I'll see you savages on the next one.